What's going on people? Welcome to another fantastic episode of Foot Talk here on Nigerian Foot Channel. It's your boy Franklin. Right, today we're going to look at three tips for the perfect jollof rice. I mean jollof rice. For God's sake, who doesn't love jollof rice? If you're watching this and you've never tasted jollof rice, as they say in Nigeria, you are on a long thing. I mean, that's grammatically acceptable in Nigeria. That's just a slang that we use. It pretty much means, you know, you, you're missing out a great deal. You feel me? But the thing is though, you get a lot of people who, you know, people love jollof rice. Jollof rice is, 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 is gone far and wide across the world, okay? It's enjoyed by so many people. And then you get a lot of people who are trying to, you know, basically get into their kitchens and, and cook jollof rice and bring that lovely, lovely food to life and stuff. And a lot of people make mistakes and blunders. You know, if you look at my channel, I have jollof rice videos. You know, showing you step by step on how to bring this fantastic mouth-watering recipe to life, okay? But, having said that, you know, the reason for making this video is based on you know numerous feedbacks in the past where people still come back to me and say oh franklin oh you know i've put too much water in oh i've done this i've done that you know my, my jollof rice is turned out you know horrible not as good as yours in the video blah 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 and i understand that okay so i've got three fantastic tips okay so let's go number one a major part of making jollof rice is water your water the amount of water you're applying you know to your rice um it's got to be a match with you know the quantity of rice that you are looking to cook you might intend to cook you know a quantity of rice enough to serve maybe two people maybe three maybe four maybe five so you know that that will be completely different from say for example someone who is looking to cook to cater for say 20 30 40 or more people you 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 feel me so you're cooking in in a completely different amount of, you know um, amount of rice catering for different amount of people but what's amazing about this um, procedure is it's a very simple technique now let, let's say for example you're cooking two cups of rice okay for the sake of this video so in that case if you're cooking two cups of rice you you basically have got to make sure that the amount of water you've got matches you know your um your rice in the sense that when you pour water in and stuff it's just about enough you know just to cover up your rice nothing excessive does that make sense now what you're gonna find is, you know, sometimes when when people, especially if you're new, you're a newbie, you're trying out your hands on cooking jollof rice, you're most likely going to find yourself, you know, using too much water. Now, I get a lot of questions. Oh, I've added too much water to my rice. What do I do? Because then you stand the risk of getting the rice too soggy, which will completely ruin the process. Okay. So what do you do? So say for example now. You're cooking, you've you know put every other thing into the rice, and then you realize that, oh my god, I've added too much water. Yeah, a very simple trick is leave your pot opened, increase the level of fire, okay? What that will do is it aids very swift process of evaporation, that water dries out, okay, very quickly, and then you can carry on cooking your rice as normal. Alright? So that's it about water. Now the next thing about your to have a perfect jollof rice is the colour. Okay, and how do you achieve a good color uh, for your jollof rice? Okay, you like that reddish, really visually appealing, nice, colorful, bright, you know, color for your jollof rice. It comes from the base, okay? So, a properly made base for your jollof rice, you know, will give it a nice, you know, visually appealing texture in the end. So, how do you achieve that? You, you, you basically form that base for your jollof rice by um, applying tomato puree. Now, some people might use, you know, already made puree in, you know, in tins and stuff. And some people like to blend maybe fresh tomatoes and stuff. These are just preferences that, you know, everybody's got and stuff. But as long as you, if you're gonna make, you know, blend your fresh tomatoes and stuff, you blend, you know, reddish, fresh looking tomatoes and, and stuff and you fry your base. Now, for the premise of this video, because I'm talking about the tips, I'm really not going to go into details of, you know, how to form your base. If you want to find find out how to form, you know, that actual base for your jollof rice, you, you know, click on the link above. The link above, I hope I'm pointing to the right, right, you know, point. Or look in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube and you see a link to my Jello Fries video where you would see how to form your base, you know, what amount of um, um, seasoning and all the stuff that I've applied to my video, okay? So, a nice base. Once you get the base right, 
boom, you're definitely guaranteed a nice color for your jello fries, okay? The third and final thing for a perfect jello fries is the taste. Your application of your seasoning, things like bay leaf, your onions, your tomatoes, and stuff like that. Now, what you find is, usually, it's a, it's, a, it's a normal human behavioral pattern. People tend to have their own approach and tweaks here and there. But I have one thing about me. I like to keep things simple. You don't, jollof rice does not involve complexity. The moment you get it right, the process, you get the process right, trust me, you have a fantastic plate, pot, bowl of jollof rice, and you'll be like, wow, you know, adding the extra things like prawns or mixed veg and all that stuff, you know, they're just extras that can improve the whole experience and taste. What's amazing about, you know, this, uh, the taste is basically that has to do with seasoning. So how do you achieve this if you're a novice? Seasoning have got to be applied carefully, all right? You've got to, Basically, like I said with water, match the amount of seasoning with the amount of jollof rice. Now, it's nice, it's okay to under season whilst you're still cooking. If you taste it and you realize, oh, I haven't got enough salt in it or I've not put enough maggi in it and stuff like that. You can add a bit more as you go carefully. It's a lot better than over seasoning your food because if you realize in the end, you turn off the, the cooker and then you, you taste and you, you know, that might completely ruin the experience. So I say, you know, apply your seasoning with moderation, okay? You apply, you mix, you know, with the pot of, you know, rice and stuff, you taste it, and you, as you go, you can tell, you know, when the spices hit your taste bud, you can tell. Those are the three tips, but I'm gonna link one final thing, okay? Back to the whole water bit, okay? When you add water to your rice, the base is right, you put your seasoning and everything. The secret to cooking your jollof rice properly so that you have a fantastic outcome. Okay, every other thing is important, but the major thing is you cook jollof rice by steaming. People make mistakes, especially novice, you know, you put everything on fire and then you put your cooker on full blast. The rice is gonna get, you know, it might get quickly done, it get, ends up soggy or, you know, just gets burnt, it's not properly done and you, you get frustrated. I get a lot of people that send me mails into my inbox and say, oh, Franklin, I was trying to cook rice and I ask them that key question. Did you cook this on a low, medium heat? It's really simple. It's as straightforward as blinking your eyes. Trust me, there's no complexity involved. You follow the process, you add your water, you get the base right, you have a nice color for your jollof rice, you get the taste right by applying your seasoning, your bay leaf and every necessary, you know, whatever seasonings you choose to put into your rice, okay? Low, medium heat, that's the secret to jollof rice. Once you get that right, boom, there you go. That's me done. To see my step-by-step -step on how to make jollof rice, please click the link at the top of the screen or look in the description and get the magic done. Jollof rice is as easy Cooking jello fries is as easy as blinking your eyes, okay? Follow me on Instagram at The Nigerian Food Channel. You can check out my personal Instagram at Franklin, all right? All the link is in the, the you know description below or you can see on the screen as we go. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, support your boy, show your love, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share my videos on your social networking platform. It's your boy, Franklin. Thank you. I hope to see you in the next video. You've been absolutely amazing for giving me your time. Bye now.